Do you know the Trezo Plus? This is the USP we are bringing to our clients. So this is how buildings of the futures will look like. We are able to show that in our new headquarter building here in Stuttgart. It's so-called OWP12. I will guide you through the new building and show you some aspects about our new USP. The first impression is as well the facade of our new building. The green facade is more than 12 meters high, so the only green, it will change into brown, into red, into yellow. It's as well something positive for biodiversity. So we will absorb the rainwater on the roof for the facade. So when starting with the development, for us it was clear we need a forefront building with the photovoltaic elements on the roof and on two sides of the facade. Together with geothermal energy from the ground, we produce more energy than the building will need. So you look at these kinds of energy, that's the cheapest and best energy you can get. It comes from the sun and from the earth. So to that kind of energy production, it's called net plus energy house. Coming to the other topics of the facade, we have special elements, you can see over here, that the photovoltaic elements are not only seen from outside, you can see them from inside as, as well, and it's a kind of interior design element as well. So the normal thickness of the facade will be 35 centimeters, and we reached here nine centimeters. It's not only economical point of view, it's uh, as well a sustainable aspect. Not only the facade, but the building as a whole is planned by the cradle-to-cradle -cradle principles. That means that we are thinking in a whole life cycle of the building. We are thinking first what will happen after the operation period. Our aim was to bring a new building standard on the market and we have uh, as well a material passport. This passport belongs to the building and can be used if maybe in 30, 50 or 100 years we will demolish that building. So with design principles of cradle to cradle, cradle, we are following the circular economy. And this is a practice example what is reachable at the moment. Another topic um, are the workplaces. It was very important, stepping out of Corona, that people will love to come in this building. And this is followed by also a smart building aspect. It starts with entering uh, into the building. Uh, you don't need a key anymore. You will use your smartphone. You're entering by car and then there will be a digital signage where to park to find your parking slot. You can use electromobility as well. You can choose your workplace over an app. Not only if you're entering the building, that could be managed in advance. The light is managed digitally. You will see no switches within that building. That's all managed by tracking of everything. Also the construction phase and the design phase has different aspects. Just one example is the MAP system, which you can see in over here. These prefabricated elements save time, they save cost, and what you can see they bring in a better quality. We started with the Trezo Plus and all of these four aspects, innovative, digital, sustainability, and after all, even from the economical aspects, you can see we reached each of them. And that means that after all, we have a landmark building, a landmark office building, for the same price as a standard office building. So as you can see, this building follows our rule, practice what you preach. <music>